name is Kay. I'm a poet and a writer, and on this channel, I do reactions to K-pop videos, specifically lyric reactions and breakdowns. The more I listen to RM's new album and the more I look up lyrics, at the, the greater appreciation I have for it. It's like he's managed to somehow like distill down the way his brain works into 10 songs. And it's just like every time I learn more about one song or another song or I listen to them again, it's like, I feel like as of this point in his life, it's his masterpiece and I'm so appreciative of it. And there's just so much depth. I just love it so, so much. For today's video, what I want to do is the music video for Still Life has come out. So I definitely want to go and look at the lyrics for that one. I haven't looked like deep into the lyrics. Of course, some of them are in English. And I have been watching all of his um, interviews and explanations for the album because I'm I'm a little obsessed, you guys. Like RM was already my lyric bias and he just threw at us like some of the most gorgeous lyrics. He keeps like introducing this album as though he's like a curator at an art gallery or an art critic touring with a gallery. Like it's just the way he talks about it is so different and interesting and I love it so much. So I want to do Still Life. And so his explanation for Still Life, before we get into what the lyrics say and we kind of formulate our own opinions about it, what he said about Still Life is that as a, um, a non-English speaker, he's going to a lot of different art galleries and a lot of uh, paintings or, or sketches or drawings will have Still Life written by them because that's just like a style of art and so what a still life is in art terms is usually usually it's something you would do for like for learning i think the classic example is like a bowl of fruit right and you would then try to draw the the bowl of fruit as realistically as possible so still life in english kind of connotates drawing something as close to life as possible but he said as a non-english speaker he was seeing this still life and he's engaging with these artworks of, of things that are dead like these, the flowers are already dead by the time someone is then drawing them or painting them and then the artist a lot of times is also dead and yet there's this immortality in the art that there's like there's still life in it um, because he then as you know this Korean boy is then engaging with it like the, the explanations he gives are just unbelievable check out all his interviews about this album if you want to just like get some big brain moments going because oh my god I love the way he speaks but so he's talking about it like like still alive is the way that he interpreted it and almost like towards immortality is the reason we do it's the reason I wanted to be a writer from early early on is that sense of immortality like you can strive towards towards living a long life or living a full life but there is something immortal about someone reading with engaging with your work hundreds of years in the future like that's how you live forever like the example off the top of my head would be Mark Twain has been dead for a long time but he still influences the American education system he still influences there's still a huge dialogue with him happening every day in classrooms all around the world he still influenced part of my education he still influences part of the the American discussion on, on various topics, honestly. Um, he still influences so many things. So Shakespeare had been dead for forever. I know I'm just like old white guys, although Shakespeare might not be, who knows? Actually, I have an opinion on that, and that's that we have documented critiques from Shakespeare's contemporaries basically bashing him. And if somebody is bashing a specific person, like publicly, like in newspapers, and we have documents of that, the, pro the person probably existed, you know? Okay. That's, that's my two cents on Shakespeare. But let's get into RM. Let's just, let's jump away from that. Let's get into RM with Anderson Pock, who I did think it was like super sus when he was showing, I, I know they had gone to the Silk Sonic concert, I know they're BTS, but I was like, why is Anderson Pock like suddenly drumming for them in this amazing outdoor concert that they did for the yet to come uh, reveal? It's probably, well, RM talks about like, they done worked together later, but it's probably they were already working together. Like, come on. Anyway, that has been plenty of rambling about this. Still life. Let's see what the lyrics actually say. Here we go. thing 
where like one, you know, like okay, in Sides videos, there's always like that moment where it's Sides voice and someone else says it, but that was Anderson Buck's voice and RM just, let's just start with that part again. Okay, that was pretty funny. If he starts dancing, you guys, I'm gonna lose it is what's gonna happen. Ooh, the way they're doing that, like he's glitching out, that's so cool. So he's leaving behind traces of himself, but they're not perfect traces. Interesting. Okay, so so far he said he's still, I, I, I know I cut out in the middle, it's just too many interesting things are happening. And he's still alive. I'm still alive, but I'm moving, which he then is doing. Just live now, going forward. The unstopping still life blooming once again my flower beautiful so again he was talking about like in a gallery like the flower it gets to bloom constantly as you look at it over the ages ah oh, beautiful We got we got go, we got to get the lyrics. Oh my gosh, he says so much so fast when he's rapping, right? Sometimes it's just like I'm barely catching him also. Why are the lyrics tiny again? My computer had an update and now it's like all of your changes are for naught. Blooming once again my flower. Give me no name because I'm untitled, like an untitled track. But like, again, I feel, he talked about this in Wallf uh, Wildflower too. This idea that like he's so separated from his name that RM is just a title basically at this point. But give me no name because I'm untitled, like I'm unfinished. Um, I'm not, I don't have that, that quality of having like the title on the track name. My life on constant display. Again, like how he's feeling about being a superstar, basically. It's still life. Still life. Isn't that beautiful? Like it's, it's a snapshot, but it's still something that was alive or is alive still. Oh, I love that. The past gone. The future is unknown. Catching my breath on a crossroads. Again, just narrating what's going on with him. Want to be free of this canvas frame. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Like, I, I don't want to be stuck here in this still moment. I want to continue moving and living. The shades that yesterday and tomorrow cast upon me, the, the, your past and your future, are both, you know, casting, casting shades, but casting shadow is almost what I'd interpret out of that. Even though shades, I think he's thinking of shades of colors. Um, so maybe in a good way too. Unfazed, I just live every time. I love that. BTS never say every time if they're going in English. It's always er time. They, they shorten it. I love that they do that. I know RM is speaking more in the Seoul dialect, which would be closer to just like colloquial English. But I love that they do it because not only are they both all very much influenced by like black rap culture um, and that vernacular, but also because all of them, most of them come from regions that have really, really strong dialects and we do not hear it as English speakers. Like it takes so long to hear what Jungkook's Busan dialect sounds like as opposed to um, just a normal Seoul dialect. It takes so long to hear that. I'm sure Koreans are like, no, they sound so different. And over time you start to pick up what sounds different, but at first they just don't get it at all, basically. And so I like that when they're using English, they sort of translate those kinds of dialect differences over into English and use things like every time rather than every time, you know? And it also just works with like the rap flow, but I, I love that they do that. 24 seven, yeah, yeah, baby, I'm on time. All these mentions of time in different ways here. I just live in the moment, every second, every minute. And so that could also be like, that's why he's on time because he's just living in the now. There's no being late or being early if you're a wizard. <laughs> But if you're living in every moment, you're never like arriving late to it. Putting my all on the line. What do you know about me, huh? 
that's it's a challenge he's just challenged us we don't know anything about him not really only what he's chosen to show us or chosen to like bleed out into this gorgeous album putting my all on the line like giving you everything what, what do we take away from it those things flying around it almost looks like I guess paper or is it is it like a frame and pages and they're just like harmful to you it almost also looks like sh shards of mirror but you would expect shards of mirror to then come with a sound and since they're silent I'm thinking of something softer not that like paper and wood flying around would not also hurt but like it just seems softer so then the chorus part Anderson's part I'm still alive. You can't lock me in the frame. I'm moving. I'm a, I'm not just what you see here. Other stuff's going on. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I like how he's sort of tracking it, but maybe even directing it. Life is better than death. I'll prove it. Ain't that the truth? And so hopeful. I'm still alive, but I'm moving. Just live now. Going forward. Yeah. The unstopping still life. Blooming once again, my flower. Like a different kind of flow than we usually get from him. I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know a lot about different kinds of rap flows or what they're called, but it sounds different in this part. Air day is my is my day one, brother. Like I'm always starting fresh. The past isn't influencing me. Is what that means, baby. I buy time with money. So that's what I'm using my money for is to buy time. To, to buy like that silent for him, like to get to go to art galleries all over the world. Don't listen to the haters that'll hurt your ears. So true. Block them out. Do not be afraid to block people. You don't need the haters in your life. There's no reason to put up with them. It's always the fools putting their lives on the line for the online. Frame that and put it on your wall. It's always the fools putting their lives on the line for the online. Like, don't listen to the haters. Doesn't matter. Don't do things just for clicks. I, that was how I would interpret that. Don't do things just for clicks. Trendsetter, I'm a friend. Better. It's better to be a friend than a trendsetter. Like, I'm not here to set trends. I'm here to just be me and to be friendly and to be myself. I'm here to be a friend. It's better. I love that. Oh, this guy. Getting sick of the... Am I, have I gone too far? Is this further than I actually, like, listened to? Oh, well, we're gonna go a little bit and then I'll just go back. Getting sick of the go and getter. Turns out things didn't go the way you wanted. I'm living well, unlike the way you wished for it to be. <laughs> didn't Sugar also say something like this in a song? Like, <laughs> sorry to the haters, but I'm actually doing fine. <laughs> Like, you wanted to drag me down, and yet here I am doing just fine, honestly. I love that. 94, living in Hanum Boulevard, which is probably, like, that the nice place he lives. It's probably a flex. But 94 is, of course, the year he was born. 91, look at my royal road. That, I'm not sure what the reference is. It possibly is a reference to where he actually lives. No need to go to Gangnam Boulevard anymore. Oh, so he doesn't have to go to like the, the rich district or anything. Like where he lives is now the, the rich place. I think that's what he's saying there. You better move out. Your rent is over too. <laughs> going after somebody? <laughs> going after the haters? I've gone way too far. Okay, we need to go back and actually listen to this. Because now I'm just like looking at the lyrics. They're just so fascinating. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, what was that last bit? Very move out because your rent is overdue. And then, what a poor flex, hun. Look at your chain. And this could be talking to his old self. Because they, I mean, Sugar actually, way more than any of the rest of them, used to talk about how they used to use costume jewelry. They had plastic chains on. Like, it was all fake. But So he could be talking to his 
old self. Yeah, me rather do it like, look at my stain. Like this is kind of things people might have said to them, like oh, everything you're wearing is fake or knockoff because they couldn't afford it. And then, look at my stain. But stain as in like maybe a stain on your clothes, but then suddenly that's the trend, right, with him. But also like look at the mark I've left. Like look at the stain I've left. Stain usually has a bad connotation, but in terms of like art, not necessarily, right? Look at this this thing that'll never go away that I've left here. Simply living in the moment like those pesky weeds. Again, back to wildflower, like a flower, but I never stay. Okay, okay, so he was like reading and just the, the reflection of him was dancing, but now he's up and dancing. Oh, I love this. I love how this is shot. This is so, it's, it's not as like cinematic and like spectacular and gorgeous the way that Wildflower is. It's simple. It's impactful. And it's like we're seeing a different part. Like it was almost like with Wildflower, the music video was like, this is where my heart is this is what's going on in my heart and this one's almost like this is what's going on in my head you know kind of like that oh it's just like the clean lines everything is so fun but then this where he's like i'm actually the one dancing like it's not just me reading a book and not like the thoughts dancing or the reflection dancing i'm also up dancing i love this Oh, I love it. I love it so, so much. That was really great. I, it's too bad they couldn't have Anderson Puck like have a cameo or something in it. Like that would have been the cherry on top, but it would have taken away also from the like, the almost distilled simplicity of it, right? Like it's so, so simple in a way and yet just so impactful in the same way. Like I like it. I like it for being so, it's almost more like this, this is the RM we know and love, right? Like that's how it feels a little bit. It's also, you know, the, the, they were heading into RM 2.0 basically, right? Even though it feels like we're on RM like 4.0, right, right? <laughs> oh, so good. Definitely, if you haven't watched it already, go and give that a watch. If you haven't watched Wildflower, you have got to go, it's probably my favorite song this year. I can't stop listening to it. I can't stop watching that just stunning, stunning video. Like that music video is breathtaking. Uh, so go watch that as well. And I have done a reaction to that one, but let me know what you think of Still Life. Let me know what you think of Indigo, RM's new album. Like, have you listened to it all? Cause it's better than expected every song. And then just listening to him talk about it. I always felt like RM, R, RM's brain is part of, there's so many pieces that are like the genius behind BTS. It's such an intricate connection of cogs all running together. But his brain is a major cog in that machine. And like, it's one of the things that, it's the reason I started my channel. The way he writes lyrics, the way he thinks about things is so moving. It comes from a place of poetry. It it interests me in the way that poetry interests me. And then it made me more aware of other artists doing similar things. Like, oh my God, my phone literally like ran out of memory right there. I've been recording these on my phone and I've been forgetting to like back them up and then delete them off of the phone memory. So like, it filled up all of a sudden. I wasn't expecting it. So I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Let me know what you think of Still Life and of Indigo and post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, I'm trying to get away from Saturdays, but I cannot resist for some reason. I feel like the need and I'm going to try and get away from it in the new year. That'll be part of my resolution. Continue to like and subscribe and comment down below and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!